playing trade guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Welcome back, guitar players and traders. It's John here from Playing Trade Guitars. We got Zach behind the camera as always. Thanks for being here on Playing Trade Guitars. We're bringing another unbox today with the much, much hyped, much, much talked about John Mayer Silver Sky SE from Paul Reed Smith. We got our hands on one pretty early. They're available for pre order, but they're hard to find. Uh, in physical being right now. So I'm really excited to open this. They're available in four colors. There's all kinds of internet chatter and talk. Um, it looks like Paul Reed Smith sent these out to a lot of YouTubers and a lot of different channels that have already profiled these. Zach and I wanna take a minute to unbox it, put it on the bench and take it apart and then plug it in and play it. At the top, make sure you're subscribed. Playing Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop R7 Green Top Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers and you will not wanna miss that. We've got a bonus giveaway going on with our Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. Uh, that beautiful guitar will go to one of you when we hit 20K. So get on the Play and Trade Guitars train, hit subscribe, and uh, away we go. Let me get my box cutter and get opening this John Mayer Paul Reed Smith Silver Sky SE model. I have never seen a guitar as hyped, probably since the Adam Jones guitar online. I think obviously they're getting their, their marketing game down and they generated a lot of buzz and chatter. And I wanna give a shout out to Jake from White Shag Guitars, whiteshagguitars.com, who's always been a friend of our channel and who actually hooked us up with uh, and pointed this out for us. So, out of the box, we've got the SC Paul Reed Smith gig bag. No hard, shell, no hard shell case for this bad boy. Gig bag does the job. All right, so if our giveaway guitar is any indication of what color guitars we like, I can tell you we went with the beautiful, oh wow, evergreen finish. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Four color options available. We'll talk about that when we put it on the bench. Uh, right out of the gate, I can tell you it's nice and light. It's got that, it's got a good feeling neck. Uh, the radius on this differs a little bit from the standard Silver Sky. It's eight and a half inch radius compared to the vintage Fender style seven and a quarter that you'll find on the the big brother version of the Silver Sky. This SE version, uh, this, is, this is looking pretty fantastic. I'm digging that green finish. SE Silver Sky John Mayer model signed right here on the back plate. And this guitar, like Silver Skies, is based on John Mayer's 60s instruments. Guess from which manufacturer, I'm sure you can. Um, but it's the best of a collaboration between John Mayer and Paul Reed Smith, and I think they've done a great job in the Silver Skies. In fact, Zach, the first unbox we had on playing trade guitars was a Silver Sky. Um, and I wasn't crazy about the first one, but I went on to love both the Nebula version and uh, the Lunar Ice version that we did with Jake from White Shag Guitars. And now we're looking at the SE version. So initial impressions, I also love that they're doing true rosewood. A lot of guitar manufacturers these days are using the Powell Ferro um, or other substitutes. And you know, I get it. Uh, there's a cost savings involved and it's harder to find good rosewood, but this is a beautiful piece of rosewood if you can see that. It's got the bird inlays, which I think is really sharp, these mini bird inlays. 22 frets on this guitar, synthetic bone knot. I mean, this is pretty, pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the bench and take it completely apart so you can see what goes into the construction of these uh, over at Paul Reed Smith, our core tech in Indonesia. And uh, we'll plug it in and play it. That's the important thing in playing tray guitar. So let's put it on the bench and check it out. That is sharp. I feel pretty lucky that we got one so quick. All right, so we took it out of the box. Now we have the guitar here on the bench and our job is to take it apart, give you a close look of the components and the construction of this SE. And uh, man, get a look at that finish, Zach, once again, and that piece of rosewood. I think this guitar certainly looks beautiful. Hopefully it plays as good as it looks. So out of the case here, we have just a, a warranty card. And then we have the trem arm and a couple of the adjustment tools. So go ahead and pop that trem arm out. Quick rundown on specs. So up at the top here, we've got three on a side Paul Reed Smith tuners. Kind of a vintage vibe on the back there. You can see the construction mark, Cortec Indonesia on the back. We've got a maple uh, neck with a rosewood 
fretboard, slab, mini bird inlays, 22 frets. Beautiful, beautiful evergreen finish. This is available in four colors, dragon fruit, which is red, evergreen, uh, moon white, and then stone blue. And from the looks of it, I think the green is actually where it's at. I think this green is really fantastic. Uh, so let's get to taking this apart. Uh, we've also got, we'll look at all the electronics. We've got standard uh, volume and tones here, like a Strat, a five-way pickup selector switch, and then all three pickups here are the uh, John Mayer 635S or single coil pickups. So uh, typical configurations for a Strat style guitar. So we'll open this up and take a look. Let's get to it. All right, so we'll start by popping the neck off of this. All right, I'll gently let this neck fall out of the neck pocket here. Not a marking to be found, but you can get a look at the radius there. So we've got a slab of beautiful rosewood on this guitar, and then we got an eight and a quarter, I'm sorry, eight and a half inch radius on the neck. So they went with a little bit flatter radius, which still gives you a vintage feel, uh, but is a little bit flatter than the seven and a quarter, which you really feel the hump on a seven and a quarter, vintage Fender style radius. They flatten that out for a little bit more modern feel while you're playing, and I think that's a pretty smart idea. I don't see any marks in the body. Uh, it looks like maybe a red S there. And now you can actually get a close look at both the finish color and the poplar body. So this guitar is made out of poplar. Kind of a different choice, and we'll see if that affects the tonality when we plug it in and play it. All right, so we've got eight screws holding on a three-ply white, black, white pick guard. So I'll go ahead and remove the screws, and we'll take a look under the hood and take a look at these electronics. For those that are fans of the Silver Skies, most people really point out that the pickups do a great job of nailing that kind of 60s Strat tone. The Silver Sky really, in my opinion, deserves to be treated as a beast of its own. I know, of course, they're compared to the Stratocaster, but you'll do yourself well to compare it to the experience of playing one on its own without just having a Strat in your mind. I'm sure you have a Strat, or if you're a Strat fan, it's still worthwhile to give this a try and judge it on its own right because it, it does have its own vibe and feel. Uh, I'm really excited to try the SE and see how close it's come or how different it is to the original Big Brother Silver Sky. It's like they don't want us to look. The lead, the lead wire is so short. Wow, that is a short lead wire. I mean, you couldn't serve this, service this guitar if you wanted to. All right, so we have some uh, Korean-made Alpha Pots. Then we have the 635 JM single coil pickups in each position. It does seem to have a treble bleed circuit. But this lead wire from, what is it? I guess it's to the input jack is so short that I can't flip this up beyond here. The entire body cavity is shielded. You can also take a look at the routing. It is just routed for single coils here. And then they have the black shielding there. We have a two point trim. So two points of contact with the trim into the top of the body. And then six adjustable saddles here, very vintage vibe. Pretty standard looking trim. Four springs installed from the factory. All right, I'm gonna condition this rosewood with a little bit of Deodario Hydrate. For rosewood type boards, it's a good idea, especially seasonally. Um, we got a cold winter going on, so I'll throw a little bit of this on the board. All right, so I'll do four or five drops of the Deodario Hydrate right here on the rosewood. Beautiful piece of dark rosewood. It's hard to find a dark, beautiful piece of rosewood these days. 1.63. One point seven five, so just like a strap. The tuners have kind of a plasticky feel that I'm not a big fan of. These feel kind of cheap to me. I think just a simple chrome or something, or maybe even black. But I don't know. These to me just feel kind of cheap. All right, so let's check the setup out of the box. Um, as far as the neck relief. Little bit of relief in the neck. The action is, I call it medium. Snappy feel of the neck, it really has a nice kind of rounded feel in the hand. Um,
just the perfect amount of float on that trim. So it came out, I mean, it came set up really nicely. You can see the, tr the trim is floating perfectly right now. Factory 10 gauge strings on here. Uh, good feel on the neck. Uh, I don't hear any buzzing, I don't see any fretting out, no setup issues whatsoever. So something to keep in mind is that the $849 price point, you got to know that there's a comparison being made to the Fender Player Series. So at $849 head to head, this is a pretty high quality feeling guitar for that price point. Um, pretty amazing for what you're getting for the money. Um, so I can't wait to plug this in and see how it sounds. One last thing we'll do is we'll get a reading on those JM pickups. We'll move it on over and plug it into play. Bridge 7-1, middle 7-2, next 7-1. They're all the same pickups, so in theory they should be about the same. So about 7-1, 7-2 on the pickups. Five-way selector switch, and then volume in two tones. Well, this guitar feels great out of the box. There's nothing left to do except plug it in and play it. I can't wait to do it. Let's plug it in and make some noise. One feature I didn't get on the bench was the weight. Uh, I'm really impressed. It's a nice lightweight guitar, so I'm gonna get a quick weight before I forget. Just under seven pounds. So we are sitting right at pretty much seven pounds or a tad under. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is Fender scale, so 25.5 inches. So we're gonna see how the Paul Reed Smith SE playing experience stacks up. Uh, I'm really excited already. It was a resonant guitar. It was set up very well out of the box. So let's do this thing. Alexander Dumble who passed, we're going to be playing through Michael Britt's profile of the Overdrive Special. <laughs> Neck pickup. Here's the middle pickup. Let's try those in between positions. So we're going to go 
Uh, we're gonna go bridge and middle. Here's the uh, neck and the middle. Let's get some more standard rhythm stuff. Here's just some chords. a look at the John Mayer SE Silver Sky. I gotta say it's beautifully constructed. If you want this one, this one's gonna be for sale from Play and Trade Guitars. Take it home, get in touch with us, and make sure you're subscribed. We are giving away this green monster over my shoulder, the Gibson Custom Shop R7, our green top, we love it. And when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away that Billy Joe Armstrong as a bonus. So hey, thanks for checking out this John Mayer SE Silver Sky with us. Uh, Zach and I really get uh, a kick out of checking out these guitars early and giving you kind of this exclusive look from Play and Trade Guitars. We'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for all your support. We'll see you soon.